I think we're going to discuss the new weapon system if everyone's game. Let's have a little discussion before we get into the tutorial, because, you know... It seems that everybody's jimmies are getting rustled by the new weapon system, I don't know. That's a fair way to describe it, yeah. Um, I don't get it. A uh, lot of, I don't see why so many people are getting upset about it. Well... It's so easy. I think because whenever you take an alpha strike away from a game, which is what AMCs used to be, and they've been constantly combating that as well, with the power nerf and with the balance of AMC. Um, but then people just keep getting bigger, so they'll just throw more power down. And it's it's that that is oh, yeah. the problem, because that's what makes everything so big, you know? So the argument is, if I can't break his shields, I need a bigger gun. But I think that now, with larger sectors, the ability to support more ships and more players, um, I think that there's much more relevance to multiplayer fleet combat now. Like, we could do it before, um, but now there's no sector glitching when you cross because there's less borders to dodge. Um, the weapon systems just look way better and are far more balanced. I just The combos as well allow for a lot of variety. So, you, you know, you don't just have gunships or turret boats. You know, and I think beam lasers are a game changer. And we've been we've been working on adjusting those. Yeah, and like with anything that's brand new, I mean, think about how long it's they've been developing an AMC cannon. It's not like the AMC came out yesterday, which is effectively what the beam laser is. It hasn't been out for long, so you know you can expect some balancing. <laughs> to all the new stuff. I mean, to me, I'm I'm loving the new weapons. It's adding some I'm depth to things. the building. You know, it's it in a way, you could say the fact that it was really easy to just throw down AMC blocks and have a gun. Yeah. You could say that was accessible to a new player, but there's always going to be a, a learning curve. And I think that if you give someone the option of having the many color and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, so yeah, we were talking to Calberry the other day, and we we had an idea, we came up with the idea of being able to uh, color your shields, mm. you know, like you would your weapons. Now that's but, but that's. that's it's not a new idea, though. It's not. No, but well, it, yeah, but it doesn't matter. But when you think about it, it's a good idea regardless. It is but a good yes, idea. We, we had thought of that. That is a good idea. It's a brilliant idea. You could have well, faction fleet it, shield colors. I mean, because there's a lot of stuff we haven't implemented. Don't go down that road. But the thing is that right now we're discussing weapons, so Lichgrave knows better than to ask about things that aren't weapons. <laughs> when we're on a live stream. It, it, it's dun, about dun, coloring dun. weapons, there's linearity here. Yeah, but then I could say, uh, how about we have different colors of grass on the same basis? Come on, man. Work with me, bro. Work with me. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Let's talk about power, because everyone loves power. What do you think about power seems on weapons, Lich? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it seems that it's, uh, it's, it's definitely changed, and I do think that people, uh, are getting a bit frustrated because a lot of their older builds seem to be uh, quote-unquote broken. Um, though I think that they just really need to redesign their weapons into the new system. Back to the weapons, you know? I think possibly the reason for that is due to all the other changes that have come with the weapons. So, yeah. Um, but I, it, they just, yeah. you know... I find that the ship is now requiring more power as it is capable of higher stats. And you just got to bear that in mind. Like, if your gun was drawing so much power before, and then you can calculate how much it's going to draw now, if you're confused about why it doesn't work, it's because your thrust, shields, and tanks, they're all changed. They're probably significantly larger. And that means you're going to need more power. So, reduce. It's it's like cut the fat. That's all it is. Cutting the fat and making a leaner ship. Yeah. 
and uh, it's going to take people a week or two, I think. You know, I'm, I'm just going to take a few questions from the chat because, you know, they're here. So, uh, let's see. So, Chicken Wildstyle says he thinks the weapon system was rushed with changing sector size in mind. He doesn't mind nerfs to AMCs, but max range only being two kilometers doesn't seem smart. So, I think actually that was immediately raised, wasn't it? <laughs> Yeah, and I do think that wasn't the uh, th that wasn't a smart idea. But when all. you think about it, though, when you think about it, it is a server option. We didn't have to change it, and the weapons have just been rebalanced with that range in mind. So we haven't changed the range. No, no, I, I mean, the, the new weapon system being two kilometers, and people used to build things that were longer than that. You know, I think that's what people are talking about with that. Um, uh, let's see, Fallout Fan says, I happen to like the new weapon system. Spectre Phantom says, Sector Size was server config, not the game. And also not a nerf, more of an equalization. Um, to be fair, the, the, the weapon range mm. matches the current default sector size. Yeah. So if you want a larger sector size, you should go into the config and change your default ranges. Ah, so in fact it's just a little bit more work as an admin running your own server. I should really be doing more. If I'm going to change my sector sizes, maybe I should consider rebalancing my weapons too. No 50, just to, just to respond quickly, 50 kilometers was not default. It, the default is, I think, 2000 currently? Yeah. It's 2600 with a 200 buffer. Right. Because in uh, we were just playing around with it because here at Mushroom Fleet we do play with all the new features straight away because we like to get those bug yeah. reports in. Um, but like I say, no, uh, we're actually going to keep it at 20, but um, that's only because we've been finding it's running really nice uh, with the extra space. Yeah. There's a few teething issues on the first few hours, but it settles down. So I think that's just the uh, spawning of the universe as people start to explore you know but uh, after a while it settles down uh, let's see and so yeah the guy is responding saying he was he didn't say the nerf was bad he was just saying that max range should be tailored to be proportional to sector size and it is because we can go in our configs and change it all all you have to do is edit the config in your client and as admin you hit tab and press period so hold tab and press the stop, you know, this, you know, period button, full stop. And it'll upload your config to the server and then push that to every client. No modding needed, no need for anyone to log out, no need to restart the server. So you just do that and it'll refresh to everybody. So yeah. Yeah, that's definitely something nice to have. So yeah, because when you think about it, literally it, it takes a second to do. You know, you can just open up Notepad++ for free. It'll uh, read all the code. It'll pass it nice and clean for you, color code it and stuff, so you can read it. Uh, Calberry's put a whole load of comments in the vanilla config so that you can pretty easily read we'll what they more. do. Yep, you get more and more every yeah. time, every release. So that yep. helps. But no, we'll add more comments, I mean. One thing, <laughs> yeah. and this is something that needs to be stated because we are doing a stream about weapons. Mm -hmm. You know, because constantly we're getting the question, but this has more DPS than this, and this is clearly better than all of the rest of this. So I'm going to go out right now and say, stop. Every single weapon has its own uses, you know? So a machine gun is, is useful in one situation as opposed to a sniper rifle being useful in another situation as opposed to swarm missiles being useful in a different situation. All these weapons are designed for a specific use. None of them are better than the others. <laughs> Let's just get that out of the way here. Each one is designed for its own thing. There is no better weapon. You have your preferences. Done. <laughs> it's pretty true. Just get that out yeah, of the way. Yeah, we like getting that out of the way. I mean, to be fair, one of the things I'm going to look at in this uh, tutorial I'm going to do in a second is is that is i'm not just going to slap a massive part because whenever i see people doing uh guides no offense to them because it's exactly what i would have been doing before 
I always see people put down a massive block of power and a couple of guns. Because you know it's going to work, right? No. Uh, it's, that's not how you do it. But for a, for a guide, that's legitimate. But obviously on a ship... It is. It's not. So we're going to try and build a very small ship for the purposes of the tutorial and try to make it, you know, use the power wisely, okay? Instead of just slapping it all down and hoping for the best, you know? Because I've got a feeling that with a combination of all the new rebalancing, if we just design the ship literally from the ground up, like I hate numbers, I like to just build organically and just the numbers are what they are, you know? But we're gonna do it just for the sake of, you know, for the sake of showing people how it's done, putting it all together. But what yeah, combos should yeah. we do? Because I'm obviously not going to do them all. There's like a million plus. So which combos yeah, do people want to see? I'm going to I'm going to put it to the chat real quick. So I'm going to take three from the chat and then two from you guys in here with me, and then that's five. I know there's, there's, a, there's a common thing going around the forums and everything. Oh, lasers are the strongest weapon in the game, or they have more DPS than a normal, you know, AMC and things that's like that. That's funny because I've heard the exact opposite. Lasers are terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah no, I've, I've heard. It. All this I find. And I just want to. I want to state that. Um, first off, that people keep saying laser DPS. First off, lasers don't have DPS. It's a tick based. It's not second based. There's a complete difference. No, they're ticks per second. They are ticks per yeah. second. They, okay. they they do have DPS. The, the the difference is that most of the weapons in the game are front loaded. You do damage and you have a cooldown. Um, lasers are back loaded. You. Hold the you hold it on target for a period of time, and then it applies. Um, what's that? Uh, what's the term? Hit frame. Yeah. A hit uh, scan. A hit, box? hit scan. It does a hit, hit scan. scan. Yeah. yeah. You hold it on target for a period of time, then it does a hit scan. Instant damage. Yeah. It, it just it works different. That's that's all there is to it. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's something and and we're working on optimizing that. So anyone who complains about the way it works, it's going to change. Don't worry. We want to Nothing improve is it. Final. This is an alpha. Oh, also, in addition, guys, if you could suggest those three combos, we are going to put those ships up for download when they're done. So it's not like, you know, I'm not going to throw them away. So if you could get, I'll take one from each different person if we get a lot, but we'll see how many we get suggested, yeah? So that's one beam missile ion. So a beam shotgun. That's quite interesting for a fighter, though, when you think about it, because I am going to be building very small ships for this, because obviously I want to turn out quite a few of them in a short space of time. So let's see. Chicken, on um, the weapon range, if it's set to the current default sector size, so if the admin wants to change the sector size, they need to go in and change the weapon ranges. Yep. Oh, someone else is uh, asking in the chat. Busty says, has the size of the Pulsator Blast increased since the last update? I feel is he like talking one... about the Pulsator or yeah, the, the pul Damage Pulse? I think he means the Damage Pulse because he's talking about AOE. The damage pulse. Why yeah, he, yeah. He, he says he feels like one Pulse Block has a larger AOE than the previous. So, first of all, just to clear up some confusion, the there is still a Pulsator as we had in the last. So we have now a damage right. pulse, which is a new weapon that does damage. And then there's another one. It's actually been renamed. Is it called the? Is it still? It's not called no, the there, pulsator there's the, anymore. The, the, there's the push pulse and the damage pulse. That's it. It's the push pulse. Yeah. The the, the that, old that's, pulsator that, that's what is it's the called, push pulse. That's what it's called in the config. I don't know if he changed the name of the pulsator in the game. Also, just to answer the question, uh, you can actually type as an admin in your single player slash sector underscore size space the number in kilometers that you want it to be so you don't even need to reboot your server just remember you can go up not down in size okay yeah well you can try going down but i wouldn't recommend it it's going down yeah, there unless unless it's a complete server wipe and you're starting fresh and nobody has built anything you can crunch everything down but don't do it if there's stuff already built it, it just, it just, well, we, do, we, we were afraid because we're just, we're afraid to do it with our server, but by all means, test it, and if you get a bug, please report it at bugs.star-made.org. Yep. 
the more bugs, the better. It'll only help everybody. Okay, so let's see. We've got some combos, so let's see. We have what am I beam missile ion. Now, beam missile would make scatter lasers. Yeah. And then what else have we got? Someone else. Damage beam. So, beam plus AMC plus ion. So, rapid fire anti shield. Now, that would be. And then. Oh, sorry, sorry. He said explosive. Sorry. He said explosive. My bad. Explosive. Explosive salvage beam. <laughs> well, that is a weapons combo, so hey, Salvage Master. It is. You can use it, I think. So salvage Master plus Missile. Um, well, he didn't actually say if he wanted it to be a missile. He said Explosive. So what slave do you want yeah. on there, Busty? You need to pick one of the uh, one of the weapons systems. So Salvage plus I need one more as well guy oh wait no sorry laser primary AMC secondary I think we've already got someone's already suggested that one phantom if you could uh, yeah think of another one someone was asking about damage pulse someone said salvage plus d1000 ah, yeah okay so you, you good actually with I, I, I think we should do a damage pulse yeah I one think, of them because yeah. a lot of people oh, don't do, understand how those you know, are working yep so uh, damage, damage pulse, pulse yeah missile and uh, why the no, heck no. Not? Too explosive. I, I wouldn't do missile missile doesn't do no. what it's supposed to yet it the, the missile no. on the damage pulse is equivalent to a cannon so it, it just increases so, the firing uh, rate what about beam that'll change what about for beam now. On the, on the pulse, yeah. it increases the range. Yeah, let's put it so on go there. For it. Do beam, okay. and then do explosive. That'll give you the largest beam possible plus, pulse. Yeah, plus explosive. Okay, so that's one from you guys. Awesome. Um, what's that? Astro beam. Astro beam plus D1000 plus stop. So useful. Okay, I like that. We, need, we still need a combo to finish this. Oh, no, wait. The salvage missile. Yeah, oh, so. no. D1000 on the salvage what? plus explosive. What? What's the range on Astro Beams? Uh, it's a lot. It's shorter. 400, I think. It? Was it less? Why? Why would better. you? Why would you want to use an Astro Beam instead of for, a, uh, for a normal a, damage for, beam for a know, longer to, range? To repair someone, I think. But I don't know why. I, I guess if you do, um, can if the, you don't do the one-one ratio, can the repair work with someone? Can it? Can the repair work? With it the can. Safe? Yeah. It, it just converts the so, repair rate to uh, pulling. Yeah, so really if you don't do a full ratio, it won't convert all of it, and it should be repair. But the repair system yeah. isn't. Um, isn't done. Yet. It hasn't been updated yet, so right. you can so, only repair fixed blocks. You can't replace missing ones. So maybe not that then. No, we need one well, more then. Are still. We be able to replace so far. Ones in the future? Right. So yeah. far, we have. You damaged, should be able to. We haven't We're planning got an, on it. We, we haven't got an AMC combo. Should we do artillery for the fun of it with uh, punch through? Yeah, let's do artillery. Because that would make uh, sense. AMC plus beam plus punch through. Plus uh, punch through. Yeah. That's yeah. a sniper. You're throwing that out. Oh yeah, that uh, is a I, sniper. Actually, well, yeah, true. Artillery you're right. would be Sorry. heavy hitting. It's it would be damage. No, you're right. It's damage yeah. pulse. You're right. It is. It's well, no, artillery pulse. is. It would be a sniper. Splash, so mm, I think this would be, be fine. I, I, I think uh, you're having trouble explaining what artillery is. Well, I think it. I'll build it with an AMC damage pulse punch through. Mm. Because that's the this biggest. Is, this is why shot. I didn't name any yeah, of them. I don't want to get get into what what it is or not. But we're gonna go for an AMC with a damage pulse and a punch through. So that's a really big cannon, All right. which kind of explodes a bit. So I don't know what it would be, but we can call it what we want. I'm gonna call it a quantum payload launcher. Okay. <laughs> so the quantum payload launcher is gonna be fun. In fact, if anyone can come up with fun names while we're doing this, then I will call them Weapons that in the video. Well, let's see. We've got oh, a damage dear, pulse. That's not a fun name. We've got a damage <laughs> pulse plus a beam and an explosive, so we've got a long-range explodey bubble. What would you call that? An, an inverted black hole. A Y-hole bomb. Okay, we're going to call that the Y-hole bomb. 
I would have called it an aside cannon, but okay. What, a damaged part? Well, it's a bubble, which which is big and explosive. Localized inversion field. Localized inversion yeah. field, yeah, I like that. Okay, we'll leave the Y hole bomb for something. It that's turns more you matter. inside out. Localized. Y hole bomb. Inversion. A purple missile with explosive to create bigger range. Oh, yeah, we that's didn't put any colors on. What color should the localized field be? <laughs> Yeah, man, look, see, we're having to theorycraft well, all this if you, stuff. If you, if you color it purple, then it can be a Y-hole bomb. It can be a Y-hole bomb if it's purple, if but it's we're, purple, we're not going to do that this time. We, this, is, this is a localized inversion field. That's 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 not purple, is it? Come use on. a power tank. We we'll use a power tank. Dark green sounds good. Okay, power tank. Okay, now then, the salvage plus D-1000 explosive. So this is a... Salvage shotgun with an explosive effect. Purple? I'm seeing purple in the chat, but that might be a time delay. See, his, he probably wants the... See, yeah, the white hole bomb, definitely purple. We'll have to come back to that in a later video, I think. So, anybody? Colours for the salvage beams? It's going to be a shotgun? Don't make me make all the decisions, guys. <laughs> I don't even know what to call it. Yellow, yellow salvage beam. I am, I'm gonna have to come up with everything, aren't I? Red, someone said red. Okay, red, so if it's red, then we've got a red salvage shotgun. So, oh, man. we could call it the strip miner. I swear, if zero because comes into this room. Because, Eve Online. Now then, beam missile ion. So this is an anti-shield beam shotgun. Colors. Uh, I'd, use, uh, I'd use either. I'd, I'd probably use the blue crystal. Blue. Give it a nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So it's like an ion shotgun. Ion, you know. So blue. what yeah. would we call an ion? The Omnom Atron. Mate, that's a hell of a name. That's obviously for the Omnomatron for the salvage. I'm crossing my name out. Omnom Atron. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so next we got that's taken from the chat. Thank you very much, guys. So, beam missile ion. So anti beam and anti shield beam shotgun, and they are blue. You got to come up with something really cool like starburst. <laughs> Help me out, guys. What do you think? What is it? It's a anti shield beam shotgun, and it's blue. There's obviously going to be people in the chat that's probably going to say something soon. If we if we if we just like just gibber about it for long enough, eventually someone will probably suggest something. <laughs> shotgun, what is it? Anti-shield shotgun lasers in blue. Um, plasma burst. A plasma burst makes sense. Because mm, because boring. Yeah, because why not? And we have beam AMC. So this is a fast firing explosive beam. Wait a minute. Colors. Fast firing explosive beam. Yeah. Fart sparkles. Um, <laughs> That's what the guy who wanted to bust the your it, So it's it's what fast shooting explosive. Right, fast lasers? shooting beam with explosive Arc welder. effect. Arc welder, and we'll make it yellow. Oh, I left it blue. I don't care. Okay. We've already beam, got it. Okay. Uh, oh, it's the last one. A shiitake on beam. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. We're gonna have to pencil that in for another day because shiitake on <laughs> shiitake on beam. <laughs> That's just classic. Because we've got Colors a shiitake. <laughs> right. So let's see. So so far we currently have green, red, blue, yellow. And now the quantum payload. So that one's going to be purple because we haven't used that. So quantum <laughs> payload is purple. <laughs> that was easy. Wow. We've got names and colors for everything. Okay, right. Sweet. So I think I'm going to say thanks for watching, everybody. The uh, epic conclusion will be in part two. So check out the link for that. And I'll see you next time.